So here we are under plans and protection plans, and let's go ahead and create a forensic plan. I'm going to add the device. I'm going to make sure our entire machine is on. I'm going to turn continuous data protection on. I'm not going to schedule this to run all the time. Under forensic options, I'm going to turn this on. Now, once I do turn this on and save this plan, you will not be able to turn this off. And for the purposes of this, I'm not going to have vulnerability assessment and patch management and other things since we're just doing a protection plan. But I will leave the antivirus on. Let's go ahead and create this plan. Now that we've created this plan, let me edit it. I should have titled this Forensic Plan. Okay, so we have a Forensic Plan. I have the Forensic Plan up, and I'm going to go ahead and start the backup. And we'll let the backup go, and then when everything's done, we'll return. As you can see, the protection plan is starting to back up, so we'll be back when this is done. So on the screen, we've already passed the collecting the raw memory dump and the list of running processes. Here on the screen, you can see that it automatically rebooted the machine into a bootable environment. And we're creating the backup, which is going to be including all of that space, the occupied and allocated space and so forth. At that point, when it's done backing up, there will be a notarization of that backup. And then it will be rebooting into the operating system and then continue plan executions. So when this is done, we'll come back and we'll review the certificate. OK, so let's go ahead and see the certificate for this forensic backup. Go into the device. And I'm going to go hit recover. And I'm going to go ahead and recover. And I'm going to choose entire machine. I'm going to go to disk mapping. You will see this disk and the certificate icon. I'm going to click on the certificate icon. And you will see here is the notarization certificate. And if you want to verify, you can see all the necessary steps that you need to do if you want to use the TIPX retool. You'll also notice about verifying the right disk. Here you can take a look at the hash values, the Merkle tree information. And if you want to manually verify, it's been notarized in the Ethereum blockchain technology. You see the transaction ID as well. Now you can see the hash value of the original file. You can see the hash proof in the Merkle root against that key value. Here is the hash root inside the Merkle tree, the receipt for the blockchain, and also proving the Merkle root key value data as well as the Merkle root and the transaction ID. Thanks for watching.